Hi, this is Exploring with Em and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we brought you to Flixton in Suffolk where we're going to be taking you for a little look around the Norfolk and Suffolk Aviation Museum. So the Norfolk and Suffolk Aviation Museum uh, here in Flixton uh, near Bungie is basically a group of uh, little museums all in one. It covers the Bomber Commands, the Royal Observer Corps, there's plenty of aircrafts to look at, including the one we're actually sat in now. Yeah, aren't we? we're actually sat in one at the moment. Um, Shall really from cool. the rain? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's actually really cool. We're going to show you around this uh, little airplane. I think it's the only one we can get into. I think it's like the Open mm -hmm. Museum airplane. So we'll have a look around as we're talking to you now. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, there's, uh, they've got lots of aircrafts here. Um, this place was actually established in about the 1970s. So it's been, been here quite a long time and it's completely run by volunteers, isn't it? Yeah. So um, yeah, looks really good, definitely worth you, a look at. Yeah, and as you know, we always big up the volunteers and that's what we're doing Absolutely. here really. We're trying to promote this place, get a bit of few donations and that, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's get on to our next bit. just walked in and this is the Royal Observer Corps um, the museum basically which yeah. is really amazing because if you watch our videos you know we often go to ROC posts uh, the underground bunkers that we've been doing recently and this has got all the inform information about them it's got all the instruments yeah, it's got um, if you want to know what a bomb power indicator actually looked like then and they've got one here that, really um, cool. fixed survey meters a lot of information about the sort of clothes that these people used to wear the sort of things that they used to have down there and they've also got actually a setup, haven't they? Yes. Of an actual ROC post. Um, Which uh, we're going to be very excited to show you. So I think we should just get on with this in here and uh, show you around. So here we have a woman stood on top of an orlet, which, as you know, we've been to a few of. And they've actually got the original chart table from the Bungie ROC post here, which is quite fascinating. Uh, Bungie is just down the road here along with all the post instruments and things, so uh, that's quite interesting to see. So when we've been to the ROC post, we're always talking about bomb power indicators, um, but here is the actual instrument from an original post that would have been mounted on the wall. So that's, again, it's nice to see the actual equipment. And here's actually inside the bunker. Of course, this is just a setup, but you can see all the home comforts that these men and women would have had along with their beds and all the equipment. So again, it's nice to see how it would have actually have been set up as most of the ones we've been to, of course, were completely empty and burnt out. Of course, all of these posts would have been equipped with food and rations for the people in case they had to stay down there for any length of time. And here is the sort of things that they probably would have had. And there we have an actual model of one of the ROC posts. Um, it's nice that somebody's gone to the, the effort of actually making this to, to give us a good idea of to what they actually looked like. So that was a quick look around the Royal Observer Corps um, Museum that they've got here. It's really fascinating. And if you've ever been to any of these ROC posts, like I know a lot of our, our followers have, haven't they? And yeah. they're interested in them. This is absolutely the best collection of memorabilia, isn't it, mm -hmm. that we've ever come across. And we've actually learned an awful lot. Should have come here maybe before we started looking at some of these actual posts. But um, yeah, definitely probably the most interesting part, I think, for us. Absolutely. So um, next we're going to get to another section of the museum. What I think <laughs> is actually to do with World War Two. I'm yeah, not too sure. possibly. But we're going to have a look, so we'll see you in there. So this room is the United States Army Air Force um, Bomb Group Museum that they've also got here. And again, full of artefacts. And I think we're going to take a little look around, aren't we? Yeah, so uh, let's go and have a quick look. So they've got all sorts of uniforms in here, including this one, which is an original officer's uniform, we do believe. Um, as you can see, the Americans look just as smart as us British. So, of course, whilst these men were on site, um, they would have been equipped with all sorts of things, including... Um, we've got here an array of personal items, um, trays and spoons and, and bottles and all sorts of things. It's really interesting that they've actually got the original stuff from Flixen Airfield. 
They've got a massive collection of all sorts of different pieces from a lot of planes. I think a lot of them were salvaged. Um, and every single component, I think, just about they've got here on display. So they've also got lots of different parts of for aeroplanes. We've got engines, we've got brake pads with the landing wheels, we've got parts of the undercarriage, um, seats. I think they've literally salvaged just about everything that they could um, from these aircrafts and put them in here. This was the United States Army Air Force um, section of the museum, and next we're going to move on to another part. So the next part we're going to be taking you for a little look at is the Bomber Command Museum, uh, which was dedicated to the RAF. So let's go and take a look. So here we are inside the museum, and they've got an amazing collection, which we're going to take you for a little look at. So again, a little bit like the part next door, this is full of all sorts of artefacts, engines, they've got a Hercules engine over there, all sorts of cockpits and everything. It's actually really quite incredible what they've got here. And one of the things you can have a little look at in here is the Lancaster fuselage. Uh, we believe it could be a replica, but you can actually take a little look inside it. So inside this Lancaster's wireless operator compartment, as you can see, it's really quite small. It's amazing to think of what these men achieved from such a small little compartment. Wow, so this is actually quite incredible. They've got some original Lancaster wheels. Look at the size of these. So that's a quick look at the RAF Bomber Command section. And next, we're going to be moving on to the hangar, where I think you'll be quite impressed with some of the things they've got in their collection. And here it is, the original hangar they've got. So let's get in there and take a look. So here inside the hangar is where they keep all the special parts of their collection, including, of course, Stu's favorite, the Spitfire. So this hangar we keep talking about is actually an original hangar from 1937. It was situated in um, Ipswich Aerodrome and it's one of the last, well I think it is the last, remaining Bolton and Paul constructed hangars um, which was a local firm from Norwich. So after this hangar was kindly donated in the year 2000, they were actually able to bring it here to Flixton and reconstruct it thanks to a heritage lottery grant. So this part of the museum is one of my favourite parts because it actually shows you a little bit about how people used to live during the war. Um, just behind me we've got an Anderson Sheller, we all know about these. They actually constructed about one and a half million of them. They were supposed to be strong enough to have a house actually fall on them. Um, but this is a nice little uh, reproduction that they've got here. So just here they've actually got a 1940s room set up. Um, which I absolutely love, all the original um, authentic 
bits and pieces that people would have had in their homes including all the old bottles and things i mean we've actually got some of these old bottles but these ones have got the labels on them the little inks the little milk of magnesiums but uh, i just find it really all really very fascinating so just over here i've actually spotted something really quite fascinating because um, part of one of my hobbies is looking at old maps from World War II. And here we've actually got an original aircraft camera where all those old photographs and things that are so useful to my research would have been taken on. So I think that's uh, pretty much everything there is to see here at Flixton. And this place is massive compared to what we thought it was going to be. So we finished on the uh, museum today, it's been really good, uh, the volunteers allowed us to put the drone up, do the FPV stuff, all before it started raining and getting busy, so we're really, really grateful, Absolutely. so that's a big thank you to them. Yeah, but it's not a bad place to come in the rain, because an awful lot of it is indoors, so um, if you're ever in the area, definitely come, come and take and a, a look. look, I'm sure that a lot leave of our viewers will probably quite like yeah, this sort of place. Yeah, yeah, leave a small donation, because it helps the authorities here it's really really good so yeah. but um, as from exploring with Emma Shoe, I think we're gonna wrap this day up yep. we hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you again thanks for watching bye
If you like this video, please subscribe from the link above. And if you want to see some more content from us, we also have a Patreon, which you can join for just £3 a month. There's loads of videos already on there with new ones every week. Uh, so we always appreciate your support, so please take a look.